Mark Solomon was born on August 23rd, 1945 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and moved to Youngstown, Ohio when he was a child. Mark was a Latter-day Renaissance man, a scholar with a vast intellect and eclectic taste. He had a photographic memory and a biting wit. He excelled at writing and editing. His debating skills, unbeatable. To describe Mark Solomon, open an encyclopedia to any page. Read part 32 of the Internal Revenue Service Manual. Listen to an aria. Speak of Ohio State losing to Michigan as if it never happened. He was tough, encouraging, kind, generous, and life-changing. A boss, mentor, and friend. Students loved him. They, and we, mourn his passing. He attended The Ohio State University for his bachelor's degree. According to Terry Washburn, his face lit up when he recalled the Ohio State days. That is, when he began an intense loyalty to his beloved Buckeyes. Mark attended Cleveland State University for a Master's of Education and went on to earn a law degree with honors from George Washington University. After earning one law degree, he chose to earn another, a Master of Laws in Taxation from Georgetown University Law School. Mark worked for the Internal Revenue Service as a tax specialist before coming to Michigan in 1975. He came to Walsh in 1976 as an adjunct instructor in taxation and business law. In 1981, he was named chair of the department. The Walsh MST was unique. It was the first program of its kind outside of a law school with a focus on finance and accounting. He kept the program rigorous, recruiting tax practitioners who were experts in their teaching areas. He updated courses to incorporate the tax laws, which were constantly changing. When the MST was 30 years old, Mark wrote, by my count, there have been 274 new tax acts as of last week. Today's practitioner must also contend with some 97 non-code acts. The regulations under Section 482 are mind-boggling. There are altogether in the neighborhood of 10,000 pages of income tax regulations, with that number increasing daily. All that is good news. If it were otherwise, most of us would be out of business. After all, if it were easy or if it were fun, why would anyone pay us to do it for them? Let us then give the Congress its due. We own our livelihoods to Congress, without which we might otherwise have to do something productive. Tax practitioners have little to fear and much to look forward to. The 30th anniversary of the MST was held in October of 2004 at the Troy campus. Two of the original MST developers, President Jeff Berry and founding director P. Alex Fisher, attended with alumni and friends. A congratulatory came from Governor Granholm. Mark was a happy man. Alumni and tax professionals gave the MST national recognition in 2012. In a tax talent survey, ranked seventh in the United States by MST graduates. Tax professionals ranked the MST 14th best in the United States. Walsh faculty remember Mark as a mentor, editor, debater, and friend. For 20 years, he was my mentor, friend, and well, my boss. No one could have demanded and expected more from me than Mark, and I will never forget that as long as I live. His legacy in establishing the higher standards for the law and tax department is clearly in place, and he will be dearly missed. Steve Harms. I will miss his unerring ability to find a typo, every typo, 
every time I sent out an email. It got to where I sent them to him to proofread ahead of time, but even now I'm smiling thinking about getting reply emails from him. Always in bold font. Terry, you misspelled. Bless him. He was always right. Even now, I'm hoping I haven't misspelled anything here because I'm sure he's checking. Terry Washburn. Mark loved to win an argument, and he usually did win. He enjoyed a vast array of musical favorites ranging from Elvis to rap. He had a biting wit that more than once made me laugh until I hurt. Jenny Tatsack. Mark has always generously shared his knowledge with students. Many thought he was pretty tough at first. Later they realized this toughness would help them in their careers as tax professionals. Mark was very strict about studying and homework, especially mistakes like missing commas on research papers. These mistakes later taught me to be a successful tax expert. Mohan Jehan. Alumnus Mike Veda took Mark's Tax 596 course. Today, during tax season, he thinks of Mark when prepping parent sub returns for reconciling book to tax differences. He had a huge impact on my education and my professional career. He kicked me in the butt when I was ready to give up. And now I own and run a successful CPA firm, Jim Zerbo. Mark pushed his students to be the very best they were capable of both in the classroom and in their professional careers. He was hard yet compassionate. Michelle Jeffrey. Mark almost insisted I work harder and harder. In 1990, the faculty elected me Student of the Year and I received the Wall Street Journal Student Achievement Award that year. Mark was also very kind and generous. Just before my mother died, we were able to see a Pistons game courtside during a championship season, thanks to Mark's generosity. Mark will go down as one of the bulwarks and structural pillars in my life. Samuel Lawson. The MST program was so hard with such an intense amount of reading required that it often seemed unreasonable. But in the end, that's what made it so great. And I always looked forward to Mr. Solomon's classes. His teaching style was more like having an interesting discussion with a master of the material. And just when we all needed a mental break, he would tell some hilarious story. At graduation, all I wanted to do was find Mr. Solomon to get a picture with him, which I keep in my office. It was a great honor to learn from him, and I consider myself lucky to have gotten to know him personally, even if only a little. Two nights ago, I was stranded in my office very late. It is tax season, and my wife said, you're doing what he taught you to do. The thought brought tears to my eyes. Goodbye, Mr. Solomon and thank you for setting the bar so high. Todd Wright. A Walsh without Mark will certainly be a different place. I just get in and he's already left. It's sad because I have not had a chance to learn from him. Huang Nguyen. Mark truly made a difference as an educator. We take comfort in knowing that his memory lives on and the candles of knowledge he lit for so many students during 36 years at Walsh College.